licensed marriage and family therapist Keandra Jackson is joining us this morning. Keandra, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning on Merritt Street. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. You know, as couples approach retirement age, this is often something I would imagine a lot of people don't think about. So what are some of the conversations that people need to be having um, when we are approaching looking at retirement? Yes, finances is probably one of the biggest things that people should consider. But yeah. outside of that, we need to think about daily routines. Now that we have so much more free time, typically, what is that going to look like for us individually and together? We also need to think about our travel as well. Mm. We we enjoy retiring so we can have that time, freedom, and flexibility. So think about budgeting. Think about the places you want to travel. Think about all of the financial expenses, whether you're going to be spending that time with family members or just simply having some leisure. But also, too, the one that I love the most is think about the household responsibilities. Ah. So now that there is a little bit more free time, there will be shared responsibilities around cooking and cleaning and even the finances of the household that has to be considered. It's so interesting because I have some friends who are actually in this situation and the husband has retired, the wife has not, and sometimes he's just bored. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with himself. So for the one who continues to work, though, what can they do to not become jealous or resent the other person who all of a sudden now has all this free time on their hands and they're trying to fill that time maybe with some more relaxing things? I know this sounds pretty cliche, but communication really is key. So making sure that you're discussing your feelings, your thoughts, and just being raw and honest with your partner about how you're feeling, even if there is some type of jealousy or resentment starting to bubble up. I mean, we all want to make sure that we're having a little bit of free time here, but we want to make sure that the relationship yeah. is as healthy as possible while this is a major transitioning happen. Yeah, it's a wonder what just a healthy conversation can do, right? Um, and for the one who is retiring, who's kind of figuring out how to fill that time, what can they do to kind of keep the relationship strong? Because now, they, of course, they, like you said, they have more free time. They may not know what their day-to-day -day is going to look like until they kind of step into it, especially in the beginning. What can they do? Retirement isn't typically a surprise, so most couples should already be preparing for this way ahead of time before this event occurs. But one thing that I really encourage couples to do is to focus on quality time spent. And I know that isn't everybody's love language, but making sure that you're spending intentional time with your partner, making sure that you're having date nights, quality time, spending activities, and doing the little things along the way to show your partner that you love and care about them mm -hmm. will go a very long way. Way. in addition to making sure that you're maintaining personal goals yeah. like even though retirement is here and it's it's live and it's an, an active thing in our lives we have our own individual wants needs goals passions that can't be forgotten as well oh that's beautiful prepare talk and be intentional Keandra this has been fabulous thank you so much for this insight this morning and these helpful hints we appreciate your time thank you so much for having me you're welcome